Hi, it's Raymond Aaron, and here I am in Hawaii with my dear friend Jack Canfield. We're on vacation with some of our dearest friends, and I just love going on vacation with you. I love seeing you. I love learning from you. And what I've recently learned is the book that I loved 10 years ago and was part of the launch of it by giving a wonderful video testimony on actually being in your book has been completely revised, updated, 100 pages added, and it's coming out right now, the 10th anniversary, and I am hosting, I'm just honored to host your official Canadian book launch. And I, I just want my listeners and people who may not even know me who got this virally somehow to know what's so wonderful about the original one and why is this one even better? Well, for whatever reason, and someone I, I recently discovered the Enneagram, I didn't even know what that was, but the number that I am, the whole focus of, of my number on Enneagram is success and achievement. So I'm just what I was born to do. So I started working with a man named W. Clement Stone back in the 70s, and he was worth $600 million, and by today's inflationary standards, he'd be a billionaire. And he had a system of success that he taught, and I applied it. Here I was, a high school teacher making $8,000 $8, a year. And uh, he said, I want you to set a goal that's so big that if you achieve it, you'll know it's only because of the principles I taught you. Now you have to realize, I was renting an apartment that was $79 a month. My oh. paycheck every two weeks was 129. So when I had to pay the rent, I had $50 to live for two weeks. So I got down to where I had 21 cent dinners. It was a can of Contadina tomato paste, garlic salt, and water over a bag of 11 cent uh, noodles, right? Oh that was my, my 21 cent dinner. So I know what it's like to be poor. So I meet this guy, Debbie Clemens Stone, I take a training with him, and he says, I want you to set a goal that's so big, you'll know it's only because of what I taught you. Well, within a, I set a goal to make $100,000. I had no idea how to do that, none. And so he said, just use the principles, you know, clear goal, visualization, affirmation, believe it's possible, surround yourself with positive people, take actions when you're inspired, respond to feedback, don't quit. I, I just want to make sure that people understand, you set a goal to earn in a month what you earned in a year. There you go. And to earn it every month for that's a right. year. That's right, that's right, that's my, right. My yearly income had to become my monthly income. So people are listening, maybe they're earning $75,000 a year. Right. Imagine setting a goal to earn $75,000 a month, every month for a year. That's right. what we're talking about right. here. And I've actually done that too. But anyway, and so have you, I think. But anyway, the reality is that I started using those principles and about halfway through the year, I had this amazing insight in the shower. I went, oh, I've got this book called 100 Ways to Enhance Self-Concept in the Classroom. I'm getting paid, you know, 25 cents. All I gotta do is figure out how to sell 400,000. Make a long story short, my wife said, wait, let's start a bookstore. Now you get $3 a book, you only have to sell 33,000. We started the mail order bookstore. We started carrying other books. I raised my fee. I didn't make 100,000, I made $92,328.23. However, do you think we were disappointed? No. No, we like, you know, <laughs> 10 times their income, so we're like, okay, this is pretty good. Then my wife says, you think it'll work for a million? And I said, only one way to find out. So it took us a few years longer to do that, but I literally got a check, which I often show in my workshops, for a million three hundred thousand. It was for the first quarter of Chicken Soup for the Soul Books. Wow. And that year I made six million dollars. So it was pretty cool. Yeah. I had to write a check to the IRS for a million dollars. It was really painful. <laughs> and then I thought, I'm really lucky, I get to write a check for a million dollars to the Internal Revenue Service. But anyway, those principles work. So we call it a system, and a system is when you have all the numbers in a row. It's like a combination lock. If you don't know the numbers to the combination lock, no matter how hard you work, you have to have all the numbers, you have to have them in the right order. If you're missing one number, some people are they're doing everything right, but they've got limiting beliefs they've never dealt with, yes. or they've got fear they've never unpacked, or they've not, they're surrounding themselves with negative, critical people, and they don't realize that vibration is bringing them down. They've never learned how to use the law of attraction. They don't believe in themselves, you know, whatever it might be. And so I decided I'm going to do a book that everything you need to know is in one book. I mean, you still need to learn books about law and medicine, or whatever your profession is, but as far as the psychology of success, everything's in that book. And literally, I've got people that have read the one book and they said it's totally changed their life. Roger Hamilton, who's a friend of yours yes. and mine, I did not know that book transformed his life. Oh. Roger's one of the most successful people in Asia, was in Singapore, now he lives in Bali. He had this huge company called Excel, where he was, had businesses all working together, you know, making millions of dollars and helping other people. And he said, I bought your book in Singapore 
And I just decided I was going to do everything. I got to the thing about purpose. I want to, I want to transform business. Now he's one of the top business people in the world. I keep meeting people in airports. They come up to me. I, I really, I always go, really? <laughs> like, you did that as a result? I can't believe it, you know? So it's been very, very exciting. I'll share one last story with you. I was in, the, I was in Manila, and um, I was doing a workshop there, and I did a book signing the night before in a big mall. And at the end of my book signing, this young man comes up and he says, I'd like to interview you. You got a few minutes? Said, sure. So while they're closing up the bookstore, he's interviewing me. And at the end, I said, that was a great interview. How long have you been doing this? That was one really good. He says, you're my first interview. <laughs> I said, get out. He said, no, but seriously. He said, what happened is I lost my job. He had a restaurant that he was running with a guy and it went bankrupt. And he was couch surfing. His girlfriend left him because he had no money. He had no car. His friend dropped him off. He was going to basically get a ride home. And I said, how much money do you have? He said, $3.25. I said, is that all you have? Is that all I have in the world? So I gave him a $20 bill. I said, I'm buying your dinner. And then I said, I, I bought a book from the bookstore. I had to buy the book from the bookstore <laughs> to give him a book. I said, read this book. So he did. I come back two and a half years later to Manila to do another workshop. And in walks this guy. He's got gold Doc Martin shoes on, literally gold shoes. Yeah. He's got like a blue blazer and a nice, you know, his pants and he's got shirt and big logo on the breast pocket and all these guys walking behind him with polo shirts with the same logo, like an entourage. And I said, you look familiar. He said, oh, I'm the guy who interviewed you. John. He said, yeah. I said, you look different now. He said, yeah, I am. He said, I'm the number one motivational speaker in Goodness. Manila. He said, I've got a car, uh, uh, two cars. I've got a house and a condo at the beach. He said, I've got a radio show, a TV show. I'm making a million a year and I'm doing workshops. I get 600 to 1,000 people in my, in my rooms every time. And he was writing a book. And he's now, he, he was known as the money magnet guy and helping everyone get successful. And I said, John, that's an amazing change in two years. What happened? He said, I looked at you, your life was working. My life was not working. So he said, I decided I was going to do everything you said in that book. Everything. I'm not going to question anything I'm in the right order. And he said, I did it. And look what happened. He said, I'm, I'm one of the most successful people in the Philippines now. And so we know that these principles work. But let's always say you have to work the principles. Yes. And if you work the principles in the order I teach them, it always produces success. I promise people, if you read the book and do what's in there, you can double your income, double your time off, have more balance, fun, freedom, all the stuff you want in your life, if you'll simply use the principles. And everyone who does gets that result. They do. Well, and double is an underestimate. If you do every one of those, then you'll be as successful as... Du Doug Whittle is a contractor in, um, in, 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 in New Brunswick, I think, in Canada. And he is a, came to my seminar and started using these principles. And he goes back, he doubles his income the first year. I mean, he was making a lot of money building homes. The next year he doubles it again. Then he doubles it again. He gets Contractor of the Year Award two years in a row. He's now doing missions to Africa and they're building schools and all this kind of stuff. And, you know, it just transformed his life. Another guy up in Canada, I'm telling you Canadian stories. Okay. Another guy up in Canada was the guy who sold him his lumber, right? Yes. He had two lumber yards. He went home, condensed down to one, started training the people in his company. I mean, we're talking guys who are out there, you know, sawing the wood and all this stuff. And, 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 and they now have all gone through this program. He's doubled and tripled his business. And, you know, it's just a regular guy who runs a lumber yard. And now he's running trainings in his town of Kamloops, I think it is, uh, and doing all this work. So, I mean, it's, it's just amazing to me. The principles are profound. And, you know, I, I interviewed 75 of the most successful people in North America to make sure that they were the principles that they were also using. Yes. So it was just idiosyncratic to me. And it turns out they were. So there's this, it's not a secret. They, should, they, they misnamed that movie. It should be, <laughs> this stuff is known, you just haven't used it yet. <laughs> so great. it works. So the 10th anniversary highly revised success principles that has worked spectacularly well for a decade and is now even better because of the enhancements, of course you can get it on Amazon, but my recommendation is you kayak, fly, swim, crawl, whatever you need to do, but get to the official Canadian launch, April 11 and 12, all the details are on the screen. Make sure that you get to go there. You can buy the book there, you can buy it on Amazon anytime, but you can also get to see Jack Canfield in person. I love seeing, you're my friend and I love seeing you every time in person. Well, that's great, I look forward to being there. And I'll autograph books, hug people, take pictures, whatever we wanna do. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, and thank you 
for your dedication to your ongoing self-education.